The term onion skinning comes from the very beginnings of animation, where animation was traced on very thin pieces of paper, hence the term onion skin. And the idea behind the concept is you would be able to draw a picture on one sheet of paper and then overlay that piece of paper with another sheet of paper that's very thin so you can see what the other sheet looked like and then draw the new drawing. So you would reposition the character just moderately and then continue this process until you have a smooth animation. You can do this in Flash as well. Now for those of you who like to draw in Flash and only in Flash without using any scanners or anything, onion skinning can be your best friend. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to just grab one of my drawing tools. So I'll just use the pencil and I'm going to make sure I have no fill here. So let's go ahead and just, I'll turn it to white for now. And I want to see the line. So I'm going to go here and I'm just going to draw and change my options here to straighten, take any straight lines and smooth them out for me. So when I draw a jaggy line like this, it smooths that out automatically. Now let me go ahead and delete that. And I'm going to draw very quickly a character's arm with a hand attached. Okay. Now that I have my arm, and no, it's not the greatest arm in history because it smoothed it out too much, if you want to, just go to ink, and ink will give you a more realistic and more natural look. Then you can use that method. But I just want to show you that when I turn onion skinning on, which is this guy right here, I'll be able to then, when I go to the next frame and insert timeline blank keyframe, I'll be able to see a very light outline of the first drawing. So if I want to do that Disney-esque animation, I can go ahead and just trace over this and then modify the artwork. So I can move the arm up a little bit like this. And then just continue to draw this based on the other frame. And I can keep this going by simply going to my next frame. I go to insert again. We go here. Insert timeline blank keyframe and now I can see the previous two drawings and I can do this on and on until I have the frames that I need for my animation. Now of course I'm going much much too fast to have a very nice looking and smooth drawing here. I'm just trying to demonstrate what this looks like. Now I'll turn onion skinning off and then I will manually scrub the timeline. And that's how you can get some very either quirky animations or very smooth animations, depending on the style you're going after. Onion skinning can save you a lot of time and give you a lot more control over the animation flow. Of course, if you draw it by hand and scan it in, then all the drawings aren't going to match up as they would if you onion skinned it. Great feature, and I highly recommend you use it if you have the time to commit to creating a very smooth and fluid animation on a frame-by-frame -frame basis.